Is that bacon? Did they have bacon for breakfast? Look at that dirt and dog hair on the baseboards. Wow, these people really like tequila. That is the ugliest paint color I have ever seen. Have they ever changed that air filter? They're never gonna get that price for this house. Hi everybody, I'm Melanie Atkinson, Realtor with Smith & Associates in beautiful Tampa Bay, Florida, and today I'm talking to you home sellers out there. I've shown thousands of homes in my real estate career, and there's one thing that's true for almost all buyers. They make observations on your home as soon as they walk in, and some of them are not so nice. Buyers' opinions can be brutally honest sometimes, so I wanted you to learn from what I have observed during my years in real estate. For a buyer to want to purchase your home, they have to connect with it in a personal way. They use all five of their senses when they're in your house and often will verbalize what they're thinking. So here are some of the most common, brutally honest observations that I hear from buyers. Smells, whether it's food smells, pet smells, cigarette smells, or overly aggressive air freshener smells. Nothing turns off a buyer faster than a smell that they don't like. Seriously, people, this is the number one issue. Have every neighbor that you know come to your house before you list it and find out if they have any negative reactions to the smells of your home. Listen to your real estate agent if he or she tells you that there's a smell that needs to be fixed. And please do not try to cover up unpleasant smells with very strong air fresheners. It doesn't work and they make us sneeze. If you have unpleasant odors, you need to go to the source of the odor. So, and a lot of times that requires you to replace carpet to paint your home, to clean out your air ducts, and to remove the furniture in your home, especially the ones that your pets really love to sit on. Next, don't cook any foods with pungent odors. I know that's hard because you're living there and you have to feed your family, but it's really, really important that your home doesn't have a lingering smell of what you just ate. Smells personalize a house very quickly. Think of how many memories you can bring up just based on smells, positive or negative memories. So when a buyer walks in your house, the smell that they observe will either give them a positive, a negative or a neutral reaction. A positive or neutral reaction is what you're aiming for whenever you're trying to sell your house. Having a house without any unpleasant odors will mean thousands of dollars for you. Personalized pictures. I actually like houses that aren't completely sanitized of personal pictures. I know that every real estate advice article and video out there says to depersonalize your house, but I've personally never seen a buyer get turned off by a few lovely family photos. I have, however, seen buyers take way too much of their time looking at your 2002 spring break photo collage on your wall instead of your house. You definitely need to take down casual personal photos. And let's talk about your 20 gorgeous wedding photos. Take down almost all of them. Trust me on this one. You would be surprised how wedding photos can ignite a negative reaction in certain buyers. Yes, the happy new married couples might love to come in and look at your pictures and compare your wedding day to their wedding day, but the unhappy newly divorced buyers don't really want to see all your wedding photos. It's my experience that buyers like to see a few happy photos in your house. It does give a happier vibe to a house. However, you don't want your personal pictures to take away from the house itself. House nicknames. Your house will definitely get a nickname. Every buyer does it. Buyers come in, they look at your house, they remember one or two things, and then they give the house a nickname. For instance, just the other day, I had a buyer tell me, hey, Melanie, I really like the zebra house. Now that house doesn't have zebras, but it had a really cool picture of a zebra above the couch. So that's how they remembered the house. You want buyers to remember your house and give it a nickname of something positive. So if they nickname your house after something that they didn't like, or after a strange personal item that they see, then they're probably not going to buy your house. I remember not long ago showing a house where the sellers were clearly tequila connoisseurs. So for every conversation that we had about that house, we called it the tequila house. Now the buyers didn't necessarily have a negative view of tequila itself. It was just the way that they remembered it. Now they didn't end up buying that house. I do know that if buyers nickname a house with something positive, they are much more likely to buy it. Here's a pro tip for you. Kids love to look at pictures of houses online with their parents. A perfectly placed stuffed dog or stuffed bear 
can go a long way in getting a kid to like your house. Then you can be the teddy bear house. Dirt, dust, and hair. Now I know it's really hard to keep a house clean whenever you have a family and pets living in it, but it's really, really important. Dirty baseboards, dog hair on the floor, mold in your shower, an air filter that has dust all over it. Those are all things that buyers notice right away when they walk into your house. And it is a major turnoff. Make sure you have a deep cleaning before you list your home and then spend the money to have someone come weekly to keep your home clean while you're showing it. The amount that a buyer devalues your house far exceeds the cost of having it cleaned. Make that investment. Is this house worth the price? Almost immediately, a buyer will make an assessment of what they think the house is worth. They make that decision a lot of times based on how much work they think the house needs. Buyers who don't like your cosmetic finishes will always overestimate how much it will cost to replace them. Now it's impossible to appeal to every buyer's taste in cosmetic finishes. So some easy cosmetic changes that don't cost too much money but will make a big difference in how buyers see your house. Interior and exterior paint. Pick a modern color that works with the rest of your house. That wallpaper that you put up 10 years ago, it needs to come down. I promise you buyers don't want it up. New light and plumbing fixtures are pretty inexpensive and will give your whole room a new look. And finally, replacing worn carpet is a pretty easy an inexpensive thing to do and it goes a long way. Follow your realtor's advice and take care of those inexpensive cosmetic updates that buyers might object to. In general, as a home seller, you want the buyers to focus on your home and not the things in your home. All of the other selling rules apply here too. Take a look at my video called five home selling pitfalls that you need to avoid and do all of those things too. If you do all of that, you'll be well prepared to sell your house this year. And if you live in the Tampa Bay area and you need some help selling your home, please call me, I'd love to help. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it and found it helpful, please click the like button below or consider subscribing to this channel. You can also follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, or check out my website, melanielovestampabay.com. Thank you again, and I'll see you next time. With love, Melanie.